sister wives. Janelle Brown enjoys special outing with grandkids. Hello guys, I am Sabrina. To you, welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe the channel and press bell icon for latest news updates. Sister Wide star Janelle Brown has been spending a lot of time with her grandkids these days. She went to her daughter Maddie's home after Garrison's funeral. The TLC star returned to Flagstaff to spend time with her other kids after a few days. Now, Janelle has returned to Madison's place again. The mom-daughter duo has made many plans to spend together this year. Janelle has already decided to engage her grandkids in outdoor activities. Previously, she shared about her gardening plans with her fans. The reality TV celeb wanted to try her hand at growing veggies in North Carolina's environment. But it seems like Janelle has been making new memories with Maddie's kids. She recently went on an outing with her grandkids for a lovely time together. Sister Wives Janelle Brown takes grandkids for an outing. Janelle Brown likes making new memories with her family members. She has been keeping herself busy with new adventures since losing her son Garrison Brown. The TLC stars have been giving each child equal time and making new memories with them. Previously, she went to Arkansas to watch the sun eclipse with Logan and his wife Michelle. Janelle also had a lovely time with her son, Gabriel Brown, and his friends. They enjoyed a great meal in Flagstaff. Now, the mom of six has returned to North Carolina to live with Maddie and her family. Fans have been showering a lot of love on Madison and Caleb for supporting Janelle at this time. Recently, Janelle posted a new picture of herself making new memories with her family. She recorded Maddie and her children picking strawberries from a large farm. She also recorded herself flashing a big smile on her face as her grandchildren were busy filling their buckets with strawberries. The reality TV star said, Acres of beautiful red strawberries, our buckets fill up fast. Janelle also informed her fans about her agenda of making jam and pie after picking fresh strawberries from the patch. Viewers were happy to see her smiling and making new memories. One fan said, You're also making wonderful memories with them too that they will remember always. Meanwhile, the others pointed at how fresh she looked in the new video. Sister Wives, Janelle Brown rants about annoying gym trend. Janelle Brown likes opening up about her thoughts with her followers. She has been very serious about her workout routine, but the Sister Wives star has noticed a weird trend in gyms these days. Janelle recently recorded herself while ranting about today's generation and their latest trends. She noted how she had been wearing long t-shirts in the gym for years. The TLC star likes the way it covers her body and offers comfort. But Janelle was frustrated with women wearing crop tops while working out in the gym. She was disappointed to see the type of clothing everywhere she went. Janelle felt that gym shirts give more comfort and durability than regular crop tops. Several fans agreed with the 55-year-old and wanted the trend to go. Moreover, they wanted her to start her line of workout clothing. However, Sister Wives star Mary Brown released a message about suicide this weekend that caught the attention of the fans from her TLC show. This message appears similar to the usual cryptic posts she dangles online for her followers. Fans want to know where she is going with this or if she is pointing the finger at someone. Sister Wives, Mary Brown comes out of left field with message. Mary Brown wasn't talking about anything recently that coincides with the message she posted over the weekend. She never mentioned a name when sharing this new post with her million-plus followers. For Sister Wives fans, many assumed that she had the tragic ending to Garrison Brown's life in mind with this post. Garrison took his life two months ago. The police ruled it a suicide after finding him with a gunshot wound to the head. Sister Wives fans were surprised to see such a blatant message about suicide. But then many realized at the end of Mary's post, the message also said that May is Mental Health Awareness Month. Mary's devastation over Garrison's death became clear in her posts. She and the rest of the family were at a loss about how to navigate going forward with such a loss now part of their lives. 
So for her to want to get a message out about suicide is only understandable, especially if it helps others. But some fans wonder if that is the only message within that post. Mary mentions no names. Mary never mentioned a name in her message, so if she points a finger at someone, that person remains a mystery. Cryptic messages from Mary in the past left fans assuming she was talking about another sister wife's family member at the time. But this message deals with an unsettling topic. It talks about people not taking someone seriously when they suffer from mental illness. Instead, some tend to accuse the person of attention-seeking when suicidal. Mary Brown's message also talks about the regrets in hindsight of a suicide. In the aftermath of a suicide, people feel bad and wish they saw the signs. And that's likely true in many families after a loved one takes their own life. Sister wives, too soon for this? While the message is important, some sister wives fans worry that the words might sound a bit condemning for those left behind in the famous Brown family. The sister wives tragedy has the family in its early days, wrestling with ways to move on. So some fans suggest this message, coming from a family member, might give off the wrong idea. This post could be deciphered as Mary Brown pointing fingers at an unnamed family member. Again, it's important to take any suggestion of suicide seriously enough to act immediately, which is a message that needs to be heard. Still, some fans suggest with all the turmoil seen within that family, Mary Brown's seemingly cryptic message might rip open a few wounds. Again, this message needs to get out there. But as a sister wife's family member, fans think the wording could have been a bit different, so it left no room for speculation as a finger-pointing post. However, sister wife star Christine Brown has been keeping in touch with fans amid the Brown family's healing journey following the tragic death of Garrison. Many of her posts today are about her healthy lifestyle and B&B. But Christine's latest post caught the attention of many as she took fans back to some of her greatest memories with the kids. Sister Wives, how's Christine Brown today? Christine has been thriving in life with David Woolley. The Sister Wives star recently shared that their real estate loan officer, Ryan, helped them finance their home in Lehi and Erbing in Nall. The 52-year-old mom likes to share her healthy lifestyle as well. She even runs a healthy living page on IG where they coach people about how to live life to the fullest. Aside from her career success, Christine also spends most of her free time with the kids. Christine takes fans down memory lane special tribute. In an Instagram post, Christine shared throwback pictures from some of her unforgettable moments with the kids. Gosh, it's so fun being a mom. I'm so blessed. I really think our kids are so cool and absolutely amazing people, the Sister Wives star captioned. Some of the photos include their family occasions and getaways in recent years, such as Gwenlyn's wedding and trip to the UK. Meanwhile, some fans left positive messages on Christine Brown's latest post, commending her for being an amazing mom. Sister Wives, Janelle Brown celebrates Mother's Day with Maddie. Many fans were curious about Janelle following Christine's Mother's Day tribute, but it seems Janelle is busy minding her own business. The Sister Wives star recently uploaded a clip from her recent trip to a strawberry farm with Maddie and her kids. According to Janelle Brown, their buckets filled up fast due to the abundance of strawberries. Making jam is on the agenda tonight and maybe a pie. We will see, she added. However, Last year, TLC kicked off the festive season with a fun Christmas quiz with Sister Wives stars Janelle Brown and Christine Brown. In a short clip shared on Instagram, the reality stars could be seen discussing their favorite Christmas moments. However, fans were in love with Janelle's slim look in a formal beige blazer and white blouse. The TLC star paired the elegant look with dark jeans and brown boots. Christine looked great in a dark blue leather outfit that showed off her toned legs. As per the U.S. Sun, fans gushed in the comments section and praised them for their inspirational festive look. One Sister Wives fan wrote, You ladies look so good. These ladies are so adorable. I'm so proud of Christine and Janelle. 
exclaimed the second fan. Expressing a similar sentiment, someone else commented, Janelle has never looked better. Janelle and Christine glow and bring such warm, great energy, praised a fourth fan. The sister-wives duo made several pit stops in New York to give exclusive interviews to ET, Access Hollywood, and U.S. Weekly, as well as other media houses. Janelle shared pictures from various sets with the caption, Fortunate to make a quick trip to New York earlier this week to sit down for interviews with Christine underscore Brown Sue. In October, Janelle showcased herself on Instagram, enjoying a workout session with the caption, Exercise is for everybody. Here is an experiment for you. Go to the gym, park whatever tomorrow. Come home and write down everything everyone else was wearing. What they looked like, were they running, walking, strength training? Can't remember? Neither can they. Guess what? No one is paying attention. They are worried about themselves. Strong body equals showing up with strength in every other part of your life. In the video, the TV celebrity performed an oblique exercise while kneeling on a pellets machine and leaning far to the left. Janelle flaunted her much slimmer shape with a gray t-shirt and black leggings. Stretching far to the left, her beautiful blonde hair was pulled back into a short ponytail. In November 2022, an insider revealed that Janelle had been on a weight loss journey ever since separating from Kobe Brown. Janelle has lost a ton of weight. She does not look the same. She's half the size she was. Her numbers have completely changed. She's got to be at least 100 pounds down. During the reunion episode, Janelle expressed that she is out of love for Cody. I'm like, whoa, buddy, you're way missing the boat here. There's way more to a marriage than just physical attraction and I feel like we're in big danger here. However, Sister Wives star Mary Brown was seen joking about robbery, but as she was doing so, she was smiling bigger and brighter than ever. Since she, Janelle Brown, and Christine Brown Woolley left Cody Brown, they have never looked better. They radiate and fans have picked up on this. So, why was she cracking up over being robbed? Mary Brown jokes about robbery, smiles bigger than ever. It has been extremely hard for Mary Brown over the last two months. The Brown family experienced a horrific tragedy when son, Garrison Brown, took his own life. Though it forced everyone to come back together, it was still the most horrific experience. Along with that, Mary had started dating again after leaving her more than 30-year marriage to Cody Brown. She proudly showed off her new man, Amos Andrews, but that fizzled and it did not help that he had some past skeletons. Luckily, she had started a new business and was feeling good about life. Now, Mary is continuing to make the best out of the life she is creating and building for herself. She recently made a TikTok video joking about burglary. The caption talked about coming home at night and just being convinced that there is a burglar in your home. It's something many people have probably been through, especially women, but as Mary was filming this clip, she could not stop laughing. Not that these situations are anything to laugh about, but she was filming with her friends, only crying. Some Sister Wives fans pointed out that they only saw Mary Brown crying on the show. So it was very refreshing to see her happy, smiling and laughing in these moments. There had been times when Mary and Christine Brown Woolley would run around and start cracking up. Yet, as time went by, those moments were few and far between. It is also great that Mary is getting positive feedback since her new Worthy Up endeavor has not been as well received as she would have liked it. Fans have been complaining about the fees and hefty price tag. Now, she may be able to monetize her skits on TikTok. However, the reality star was last linked to her ex-boyfriend Amos, but she revealed they had gone their separate ways in a post shared to Instagram in February. Mary Brown is back in the dating game and has a list of qualities she won't compromise in her future man. While answering Google's top questions about her, the Sister Wives star, 53, updated fans about her dating life in a video shared to her Instagram on Monday, April 29, when asked if she was seeing anyone special, Mary replied, not exclusively, though she's gone out on a few dates. 
Prince Charming has not arrived. I'm not really looking for a prince, she explained. No, I'm looking for a king. There's a bit of an energetic difference there. A prince is still a boy. I want a man who knows who he is. The TLC star said that she desires a partner who exudes self-confidence and matches where she feels emotionally in her life. I want somebody who knows who he is and is confident in who he is, she continued, because I know who I am and I'm confident in who I am and I need somebody who can match my energy. When we cross paths, we'll know it. Mary was most recently linked to a man named Amos. In February, the reality star announced they had gone their separate ways. The two went public with their relationship just over a month before and revealed they had been dating since October 2023. At the time, she reflected on the hard truths and difficult conversations she had to have last week as they ended their relationship. Life is a series of experiences. How you handle them and what you learn from them is who you become from them. It takes courage to face difficult truths, yet it's imperative in order to remain authentic to yourself and your commitment to personal growth. She began the lengthy caption, just because I care a lot about someone and him me does not equate to full compatibility for a long-term relationship. When we have different dreams and aspirations, different communication styles and values, different visions for our futures, and these things aren't aligning, it's then that we need to make hard decisions, Mary continued. It's a strange and sad thing to care about someone so deeply, to look beyond their past, because heaven knows we all have one, to see the kindness in their eyes and their giving heart, and still know that a lifelong relationship isn't in the cards for you. Addressing her relationship with Amos directly, she wrote, I honor and care about the past four months, who I spent it with, and what I learned about myself through it. I know what's important to me in a relationship, and I'm confident in myself while I'm single as well. The businesswoman added that she's choosing to look into my future with the hope of new opportunities in the wake of the separation. This is a time in my life to prioritize me, my well-being, and my personal evolution, and I look forward to more adventures and experiences on this journey we call life. Mary, who split from her husband of 32 years, Cody Brown, in December 2022, also admitted that she's open to exploring the dating world again following her first relationship since the end of her marriage. However, Christine and Cody Brown's daughters spoke about the couple's divorce in an upcoming Sister Wives episode. Michael T. Brown said she was relieved, while her sister Yisabel said she saw their separation coming. Christine and Cody announced their split in November 2021, almost two decades after their spiritual wedding in 1994. Cody and Christine Brown's daughters opened up about their parents' divorce in an upcoming episode of Sister Wives. Today's Chrissy Callahan reported that Michael T, 26, and Isabel, 19, reflected on their parents' relationships during an episode titled The Last Family Gathering, which premieres on Sunday. Christine and Cody, who spiritually married in 1994, share six children, Aspen, Michael T, Hayden, Wendlin, Yisabel, and Truly. In a YouTube clip, the former couple and extended family come together to celebrate Yisabel's 18th birthday and high school graduation. During a confessional, Yisabel shares that she's ultimately happy her mother can move on. I think with my mom and my dad getting a divorce, if I'm honest, I did see it coming, Yisabel said. But of course, I'm sad about it. I mean, sometimes it just doesn't work out. And I'm happy that my mom will be able to find somebody who she's really, really, really happy with. Michael T. and her husband, Tony Patron, also weighed in on the divorce. I was honestly relieved when I heard my mom was leaving my dad. They're not happy, they're not in love, Michael T. said. Her husband added that the divorce was inevitable. I thought it was a little inevitable. I can't imagine any man being perfect enough to be able to handle four wives, Hadron said. In a separate confessional, Cody said that he's not okay and admitted his relationship with his children is strained. I got what feels like very strained relationships with a bunch of the kids. 
I'm not in a good place with everybody, Cody said. It's not that I'm angry or trying to hold them accountable in the moment or anything like that. I don't feel like I've got the respect that I should have, he added. Christine and Cody's relationship remained strained for several years, and they announced their separation on Instagram in November 2021. After more than 25 years together, Cody and I have grown apart and I have the difficult decision to leave, she wrote in her statement. We will continue to be a strong presence in each other's lives as we parent our beautiful children and support our wonderful family. Christine has since left the family's property in Arizona for Utah. She reportedly gifted her section of the Arizona property to Cody and his wife, Robin. In an August 2022 interview with People, Christine said she no longer wants to be in a polygamous relationship and instead wants to be in a monogamous relationship. However, Garrison Brown, the son of Sister Wives stars Janelle and Cody Brown, has died, his parents announced Tuesday. He was 25 years old. Cody and I are deeply saddened to announce the loss of our beautiful boy, Robert Garrison Brown. He was a bright spot in the lives of all who knew him. Janelle Brown, 54, wrote in an Instagram post, which included two photos of her son. His loss will leave such a big hole in our lives that it takes our breath away. We ask that you please respect our privacy and join us in honoring his memory, she added. Former partner Cody Brown, 55, shared a nearly identical post to his own Instagram account. Flagstaff Police Department spokesperson Skate. Jerry L. Rintala confirmed Garrison Brown's death in an emailed statement to USA Today on Tuesday. On 3 slash 2024 Flagstaff police officers responded to a report of a death inside a home. The statement reads, Upon arrival, officers met with a sibling, identified as Gabe, and discovered Mr. Brown deceased as a result of an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. Rintala said there is no indication of foul play in Garrison's death. Detectives from the department's Criminal Investigations Division are investigating the case. TLC mourns tragic loss of Garrison Brown. Sister Wives viewers first met Garrison Brown in 2010 during the first season of the TLC show, which follows one of America's most well-known polygamous families. In a statement issued to USA Today, a rep for TLC said, We are devastated to hear of the tragic loss of Garrison Brown. We extend our deepest sympathies and heartfelt condolences to the Brown family at this difficult time. Garrison Brown was one of Janelle and Cody Brown's six children. Their brood also includes Logan, 29, Madison, 28, Hunter, 27, Gabriel, 22, and Savannah, 19. In 2022, the couple reveal on Sister Wives, one-on-one, -on -one, that they were separated after nearly 30 years of being spiritually married. Cody Brown also has children with Christine and Mary Brown, with whom he had a plural relationship. In 2021, Christine Brown announced on Instagram that after more than 25 years together, Cody and I have grown apart, and I have made the difficult decision to leave. The following year, Mary Brown, Cody Brown's first wife, whom he married in 1990, revealed their breakup in an episode of Sister Wives, one-on-one. -on -one. In a January 2023 statement released on Instagram, Mary and Cody Brown said, After more than a decade of working on our relationship in our own unique ways, we have made the decision to permanently terminate our marriage relationship. They had previously divorced in 2014, so Cody Brown could legally marry Robin Brown and adopt her children. However, Christine and Janelle Brown became much closer after Cody. Undeniably, the Brown family is still trying to journey on without their beloved Garrison Brown. When Christine and Cody Brown split, part of Christine's grieving process was to grow closer to Janelle Brown. Without the man between them, they found they truly enjoyed one another's company. However, the world can be cruel and throw unexpected turns like the loss of a child. Since the passing of Garrison, individually Christine and Janelle have been working through their love and loss of a son. 
Understandably, it is taking its toll on the entire family. Fans notice they haven't been together. Although Janelle Brown has been using her time to reconnect with family across the country, some fans note they haven't seen much interaction between Christine and Janelle for a while. For instance, on Reddit, one fan asks, has Christine moved on from Janelle? Then explains their question, saying, curious if the ride or die bestie space has ended already now that Christine has settled in with her husband and new family. Or is Janelle just sick of Michael T? Understandable. The gal pal posts definitely seem less frequent now. I don't follow the MM juice, but there haven't been many posts frequently. Hello, lovely viewers. Welcome to my channel. I am Sabrina. Hope your day is so well. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.